Big action today from Governor Pence to fight the growing heroin epidemic in central Indiana. He's launching a new initiative in Indiana, one to target enforcement and treatment. Our TV6 State House reporter Katie Hines is live to explain. Katie? Governor Pence signed an executive order creating the task force this morning, and that group will be tasked with looking at prevention, treatment, and enforcement here in Indiana and whether it's working. Jennifer Reynolds' smile could light up a room. Her mother, Sharon Blair, remembers an all-American girl, active in cheerleading and surrounded by friends. But everything changed when Jennifer was diagnosed with scoliosis in high school and had surgery on her back. She had her first opportunity of pain medication and things during that surgery, and it was a very painful surgery. Um, and I believe that was the catalyst for her um, down the road with her addiction to prescription pills. It's an addiction Jennifer struggled with for 13 years. It's a progressive disease, and it's a chronic disease. So, you know, you can see the demise and, and how it just keeps going further and further down. Jennifer lost her battle with substance abuse in 2009 at age 29. The things we had to go through to really beg for treatment and help. Um, it was it was inhumane to watch her suffer like that. And I felt compelled to do something to help her. That's why Blair is an advocate for laws that help people in her daughter's position get the treatment they need. She joined Governor Mike Pence for the announcement of the Task Force on Drug Enforcement, Treatment and Prevention. This is not uh... This is not just about law and order, it's about our kids, it's about our families, and it's in that spirit uh, that we take the action that we take uh, today. The 21 member group includes law enforcement, medical professionals, judges, and state lawmakers. I'm, I'm calling on the members of this task force to answer the question starting today. How can we maximize all existing resources and look for new opportunities uh, to develop a comprehensive new statewide approach to combat drug abuse. This mother is hopeful it's a step in the right direction. The task force is scheduled to meet in a few weeks for the first time. Three meetings in total are scheduled around the state. Then the group will take its recommendations and findings to both the governor and the General Assembly. Reporting live at the State House, Katie Hines, RTV6.